Revision resources are extremely useful, especially now that GCSEs are coming quite close. So I compiled a list of revision websites, apps, and also YouTube channels for you to check out so you don't have to waste your time looking for them. And of course, remember everything is in the description below. So if you want to just check it out right away, you don't want to watch this video, that's perfectly fine. Let's start off with websites. I've got a long list of them and let's begin with something that can really motivate you to start revising and it's called Fiverrable. And what Fiverrable actually is, is a website where you can study with other people and you can set tasks and have a Pomodoro timer going on in the background whilst you do your work and because you're doing it with other people you can really motivate yourself to work and I've only discovered this quite recently and I've been using it every day now because it's just so motivating uh, they've got a streak as well which is really useful because now I always want to try and do it every day so I can make sure I maintain the streak and it's just yeah I really like it I like the way that it's all laid out it's very minimal and just simple and straightforward you can send a link to your friends really easily you can even set breaks and you can have focus timers and things like that everything's there all in that one website and I find it extremely useful especially when you don't have that motivation to get revising oh yeah by the way guys I was thinking if I should do a fiveable session with you guys um, if you think that that's a good idea make sure you leave a like to this video and I'll see if we get enough likes I might actually just do a live fiveable session with you guys so you can all join and we can all study together if you like the sound of that make sure you like and yeah let's continue with the video if you've been keeping up with my videos you know that Seneca is a really big part of my life because it's just so useful having everything laid out and it's just a nice and easy way to memorize content very easily and yeah I really recommend Seneca especially when you want to actually start memorizing the content it's all there laid out and you've got all the subjects and everything too so it's just really good for that reason but I don't suggest doing Seneca near the end of your revision when GCSE start coming really close in the last weeks because it's more consolidating that information from beforehand which is why I find it slightly limited because it's not the best at actually putting that information into practice it's more just oh you don't understand this topic then go over it in Seneca so then you kind of have a sense of what's going on. A website that I found quite recently called Broder is an actual really good website for memorizing GCSE content and actually going beyond what you already know and learning new things it's actually really useful and they're actually sponsoring this video today so if you want to check them out it's in the description but I would just go over how it works. So in Broder what you have are bricks and you basically get to revise all your normal GCSE content on them but you can also go above and beyond and learn a few more things. So I did a one on biology quite recently and it was called I think it was cancers it was about cancers and it had the stuff that I already knew about cancer and it was like it was part of the infection response um, like topic it had all that stuff in there but it had even more and I find it really useful for when you want to actually try and learn something but also learn a bit more about it as well to really consolidate everything and it is such a nice looking website like genuinely from what I believe it's a really nice website and it just really motivates me to continue revising because everything's so nicely laid out I've been building up a library in it now because I've got all these different bricks that I'm playing with and they're just really satisfying to do because even though they take a bit of time by the end you're like really satisfied with it and yeah I really recommend you give it a go the link is in the description of course if you don't want to click in the description you can just search it up it's just Brilder B-R-I-L-L-D-E-R -L -L -E and it's just a really nice website like genuinely from what I believe it's just it's quite early in the stages right now there's not as much as there would be in the future and more and more things are constantly being added into it um, I've actually heard that they're going to be adding cash prizes as well which is something I'm really looking forward to so sign up for that it's actually really cool and yeah it really helps with my maths understanding and I find it really useful for topics and like subjects that I'm going to do for A level because I can already get an insight into what the stuff is going to be like for A level and exactly how it's going to be and it's good all in a way that I can like properly understand it which is like really good and yeah physics and maths tutor and save my exams they've both got the same element of past papers and that's why I find them both really useful especially when you are in your latest stage of revision and want to do as much practice as you can but you don't want to go straight to full pass papers so physics and maths tutor and save my exams they both have notes for a lot of subjects 
and they also have all these past paper questions that you can do and they're all assorted by topic which is really useful because then you can just do a specific topic that you find difficult and I would say that this should be a main bulk of your revision because the more practice you do the better you'll get. I've been banging on about this for so many videos and yeah it's just the best way you can revise. Past papers are the best thing you can do. This next website is really specific to me and you probably haven't heard of this website on other channels because it's something that is just really close to my heart and I've just found super useful and it's Remno and you know that I go over this a lot in so many of my videos and if you want a full extensive guide of how to use Remno I've got it in the corner so make sure you check that out if you don't know what Remno is but it's basically a flashcards platform where everything is nicely laid out compared to Anki which I personally don't like because I find it less organized than Remno because in Remno I can just see it like it's a mixture of like a Google Doc type thing but with also that same like flashcard active recall space repetition thing like Anki and I just like the fact that I can visualize everything much more easy with Remnote but it's not as easy to do with Anki so that's why I like Remnote so much and it's really useful for memorizing information and in my opinion it's better than Anki but of course everyone has their own opinions and yeah so Remnote for me is really good and I would suggest checking it out and making flashcards on it to see if you like it too. I have some friends who've tried it out and they don't really like the platform but that's perfectly fine. It's about what you like and what you find best revising with so that's exactly what you need to do and it's really important to figure that out early beforehand so then you don't have to worry about that later on. If you haven't heard of Quizlet already then you must be living under some sort of a rock because Quizlet is so so useful in making flashcards as well because you can just literally import as many as you can and also there's so many flashcards that you can find online from other people that it's just you don't even need to do any work yourself you can literally just search up biology cell division or something and then you get a load of flashcards for it without any work or hassle from beforehand which is really good especially when you don't have the time to actually be doing all of the flashcard making and I find it really nice the fact that you can do these games and things making it a bit easier to actually get into revision rather than having to bore yourself with flashcards you can do it in a much more friendly way but of course the one thing it doesn't have is that space repetition and that's one reason I prefer Remnote more but Quizlet works really good for vocabulary for example because you can just get a long list of words and you can memorize them quite easily. I like to use Memrise as well it's really similar to Quizlet in the way that you can memorize vocabulary. I would say that Memrise is better for languages because it's more about learning long lists of vocabulary uh, over time rather than with Quizlet it's more like you've got a test you can revise for it in that moment and then afterwards forget about that Quizlet. I don't want to make this video too long so I'm going to just link a few more revision websites in the description below so you can check that out as well but I've got this, 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 there's so many different websites that you can choose from and just see what you like and make sure you bookmark the ones that you like and then stick to them because I feel like the most important thing is to stick with whatever you have. One thing I didn't realize was to, uh, that I kept on switching between different things a lot in year 10 when I was trying to figure out what was good for me and it just became like really hassly because I would like make all my flashcards on something and then I'd be like no this isn't good I found something else let me make everything on this now and I'd waste so much time that it wouldn't have made a difference if I had just originally started on that first thing and then I would switch back and be like no that was better and it just makes everything like really bad so try and stick to something from beforehand and just continue with that all the way until GCSEs but make sure it's something that you know will work and you can test that it does work rather than just go oh I, I feel like this is going to be good I'm not too sure but yeah I'll just stick with this if I don't like it I might just switch all of a sudden yeah so stick with something and keep with it until the very end. If you're trying to do a maths or science question and you just don't know how to do it then Easy8 is the app for you, it's exactly for that. You get paired with a tutor and they go through the question with you so I highly recommend it, it's a really good app. Let's move on to the next one. If you haven't heard of Duolingo, it's a language learning app for people who want to become fluent in a language. I would say that Duolingo isn't the best for a GCSE language, but the stories on it is quite good and the listening exercises they give, they're really good. But the actual lessons themselves aren't the best if you're trying to learn a GCSE. I would say that it's better to stick with apps like Memrise and Quizlet. They're really good because you can just focus on learning the GCSE vocabulary itself because there's a difference between becoming fluent in a language and passing the GCSE for that language. Language. You have to do different things for both of them. Let's just go back to a room. It's actually freezing. I don't know why I'm here. 
I'm safe, okay, and they're not searching for me, I hope, um, but I'm safe and sound at least. So um, I think that that's enough for the apps, there aren't many. If you want to look for more apps, you can literally just search on the App Store or Google Play and you can just find a list of apps. A lot of them are quite basic, that's why I didn't really want to go over them, so I just went over the main ones that I find useful. Remnote, I like using on my phone as well quite a lot, but I use Safari instead of like an actual app. They don't have an app yet, which is quite annoying, uh, but you can also do it on Google Chrome as well. With Safari, I know, you can actually do it offline as long as you have the thing open, so that's why I find it quite useful. But yeah, let's move on to the actual YouTube channels that I find really useful, especially when revising for GCSEs. Free science lessons. Hands down, best YouTube channel for sciences. By far. I'm not kidding, Free Science Lessons is an amazing YouTube channel because you learn the same information in class that you do in one of his three minute long videos because he just goes into so much depth with all of them but he makes it nice and brief and concise so you only learn what you need to know which I find really useful and that's why I really like his channel. There's other YouTubers as well such as Primrose Kitten who goes over a lot of topics and subjects and she makes really long videos that you can just binge watch and just watch the entire specification all once and then just learn everything which is especially great when you weren't paying attention in class and you wanted to actually learn everything because you just have no idea where to start but I personally like free science lessons a bit more because I like the way he split everything up rather than have everything in one continuous video but I've got friends who would say otherwise and say that longer videos are better but like it just completely depends on what you like um, they're really good for especially when you're in your early stages of revision because you can really just learn everything before you move on to actually practicing everything and memorizing everything and um, here are a few other youtubers that I really like in terms of learning the information and then there are other study youtubers who I like to watch that just go over everything and just talk about their experiences and are just like they motivate me to revise I think you guys can agree when you watch someone else revising it just motivates you to revise uh, here are a few that I just really like and I have subscribed to because they're just so useful and I will link all of them in the description below make sure you check them all out because I feel like if you follow more people studying you're going to probably study yourself and yeah if you haven't subscribed to me already make sure you do because studying is going to be really important especially with these times leading up to the GCSE exams themselves but of course if you don't want to subscribe and you just want to check this one video out and then move on that's perfectly fine as well and yeah that is basically it for this video so if you liked it make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you like the video too and if you have any more questions make sure you drop an email with the email in the description or you can just comment down below it's perfectly fine I will respond to every single one of your comments and finally we are here 500 subscribers really really soon so make sure you subscribe and I will be doing a Q&A for everyone who've subscribed so if you check the pinned comment in the description below I will leave like a ask me anything type of thing and you can just reply to that and you can just put your questions in so then I'll answer as many of them as I can in my Q&A video for the 500 subscribers so yeah thank you all of you guys for subscribing and I'll see you again next time but before you go make sure you try this exam question that's on the screen right now just try and see if you can do it it's a nice easy maths question um, just try and do it in your head if you can't then make sure you go over the topic and yeah answer will also be in the pinned comment too and some practice questions if you need as well that's it from me if you have any more questions remember you know where to find me and i'll see you again next time bye